Well, the USPS is going high tech, and we finally know why a dog's tail wags. Mm. Dr. Lord oh, Professor oh, Cody Stark is here to slap us with science. Slap you with science. Slap you with science. She's right. Everything's better in song. Yeah, I like it. Uh, the U.S. Postal Service has unveiled its first set of electric vehicle chargers stations. They are uh, at a new sorting center and delivery center in Georgia. The stations allow vehicles to charge overnight prior to the next day's deliveries. Throughout the year, the Postal Service will convert 400 sites into similar sorting and delivery centers. They will serve as local hubs and cover a larger geographic area than the post offices uh, they are replacing. And most will have charging stations for electric vehicles. Uh, USPS is planning to have 66,000 EVs by 2028. Oh, oh yeah. Will they have air cool. conditioning? I hope so. Yeah. I bet they will. Yeah. I bet yeah. they will. Yeah, Ben, slap with that. No! Take that. Even with a bad back, I get a good swing. <laughs> All right, brace yourself. The cicadas are coming alive like the world hasn't seen in more than 200 years. Oh, no. This springtime, for the first time since 1803, two <gasps> groups of cicadas known as the Great Southern Brood and the Great Northern Illinois Brood will appear at the same time known as the Dual Emergence. Ew. Wow. According to experts, some trillion cicadas will begin to appear in late April for about six weeks, and they will scream at you while they're alive. Yeah. People living in the Midwest and the Southeast across 16 states will be able to experience this rare event. The cicadas will eventually die off, and it will be another 221 years before the two groups appear together again. It's almost like the jets and the sharks. Yeah. So uh, back in the day when I worked in Nashville, we had a brood that came out, and everybody was going crazy for the yeah. cicadas. A lady made me a cicada costume. And I did a live shot and I worked at night. So I told my photographer, do not turn the light on until the very last second. Yeah. So the anchors tossed to me. I'm wearing the cicada suit. And I was like, hit the lights. And when we hit the lights, a billion cicadas attacked me. Oh yeah. my oh. God. There's a picture of me in the Tennessee and going, ah, Ugh. you've been slapped with something. I'm just picturing the Northern Illinois cicadas, so Chicago. Mm -hmm. We're cicadas. <laughs> We're here. We're tough. The bears still stink yeah. 221 years later. Well, researchers think they have figured out why dogs wag their tails. We've always assumed it's because they're happy, but new findings from European researchers suggest that dogs may be playing us. And it all goes back to evolution. They found, unlike domesticated dogs, wolves almost never wag their tails. Mm -hmm. They think that over thousands of years, dogs figured out that humans were attracted to the wagging tails, and that usually meant they had a better chance of getting scraps of food. Ah, so they're trading ah. us, not yeah. the other way around. Yeah, I'm starting to learn these dogs are smarter than we think. Oh, yeah. They've been, like, they've been that way. Yeah. They're like, look how cute I am. Um, mm -hmm. Little, little tiny ones are like, you know what? You should carry me. And not let me walk yeah. on the ground. You know, they're, they're fooling us. Oh, yeah. You have been slapped with sides. <laughs> Those dogs get their tree and they walk away. They're so dumb. <laughs> Thank you, Code. You are welcome.